Hi everyone and welcome to this evening's virtual college fair. We're all very excited to have you all here. Uh, we have five wonderful institutions here to tell you a little bit more about what each of them do. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and get to them in just a moment. But before we do that, I want to make sure that you all know how you can ask questions in this evening's session. So if you go to the bottom of your screen, you'll see that Q&A option. Um, it'll look just like the icon you see here. You can go ahead and click that, send any and all questions that you have throughout the session uh, via that Q&A. Note that your camera and microphone are turned off and they will be turned off for the rest of the session. And so really that Q&A is the best way to interact with each of our college representatives this evening. Uh, I do want to mention that we do have more sessions upcoming, so feel free to check those out. And you could do so at www.strivescan.com backslash Virginia. And at that same link, uh, you will see a recording of this session within the next week or so. So if you missed anything or you want to revisit or find anyone's contact information, that could be a really great way to do that. So uh, keep that link in mind. Uh, but with that, we'll go ahead and get started with this session. So we'll head on over to University of Missouri. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. My name is Jordan Moore. I'm with the University of Missouri, or most commonly referred to as Mizzou. Uh, here at the university, we do have a little over 30,000 students on campus. Uh, we do host Tigers from every county in Missouri, all 50 states, and over 120 countries. So we do have students joining us from all over the world, which is really exciting for our students on campus and the town of Columbia, Missouri. That is where we are located. Uh, we do call it Como for short. If you are not familiar with the state of Missouri, we are located smack dab in the middle. So our two largest cities are going to be Kansas City and St. Louis. They are on either side of us. About an hour and a half to both uh, Kansas City and St. Louis right on I-70 with Columbia, Missouri being right in the middle. So we are a college town with a little under 117,000 people living in Columbia. We were, are one of the top 25 cities to live in. So it is a really fun area, lots of different festivals, um, live music venues, tons of restaurants, um, lots of places to go hiking, biking, camping, um, whatever it is you are interested in. Uh, Columbia definitely has that available to our students. We do have over 300 degree programs on campus. So lots of things to choose from to study. Those are housed in 13 different schools and colleges across the campus. Uh, we do, we are one of six institutions to house a medical school, law school, and veterinary school all on our campus as well. Some of our larger programs that we're gonna offer is gonna be our True Last College of Business, our School of Health Professions, our School of Nursing, um, our School of Journalism. We do have the world's first and oldest School of Journalism as well, um, which attracts a lot of students to our campus. You do not have to know what you want to major in when coming to Mizzou. We do also welcome all of our undecided students as well. And we have our Discover program that allows our undecided students to kind of figure out what it is they may want to do, um, have an extra advisor that may help them, some classes that may point them in the right direction as well. Here at Mizzou, we want our students to be out there and be active in the field of study or whatever it is they're interested in. So we want our students to be participating in hands-on learning. Um, this is something we've coined the Missouri method here. So whether that's a practicum, an internship, an extracurricular activity, we want our students to be learning by doing. We want you to not only graduate with a degree from Mizzou, but we also want you to graduate with a resume. Um, and that is really important to us. I think one of our best um, showings of the Missouri method is going to be KOMU, which you can see on our screen here. And that is our NBC affiliate news station. We are the only university to own and operate an NBC news station. It is broadcast in all of mid-Missouri 365 days a year, and it is run completely by our students and staff within our journalism school. We do think our students are becoming very successful uh, on our campus and once they leave campus as well. This year we boast a retention rate of 90%, which is our highest in school record. And we also have a 92.7% successful career outcomes rate, meaning students are leaving Mizzou and within six months are attaining a job, uh, joining the military or going on to graduate school. So we do think our students are being very successful here as well. 
Um, fun fact for you, we are home of the original homecoming. So we did invent homecoming back in the early 1900s. And so if you enjoy homecoming at your high school, you'll definitely enjoy celebrating homecoming with us here at Mizzou. It is a month long celebration, the whole month of October, which all culminates in our homecoming football game. Uh, we are in the SEC or the Southeastern Conference, if you didn't know. Um, so sports are a really big thing on our campus. We do have 20 Division I NCAA sports here. Um, so that is a big part of our campus, our school spirit. Uh, whether you know everything about sports or nothing about sports, it definitely adds to our camaraderie and just our school spirit in general. It's really, really fun for our students. This year for our application process, um, we do have two different options. We have our traditional application process and then our test optional process. Uh, for both applications, we are going to require an application online, whether that's via the Common App or our university specific application. We will require official high school transcripts from your high school. And if you're applying with a test score, you do need to submit a test from ACT or uh, College Board to us. As I mentioned, we did enact a test optional policy for this upcoming class, fall of 2021. Uh, for our students applying test optional, we will require the official high school transcript, as well as a personal statement and a resume in, in that process. And that will be completed on a holistic review. We do have a number of automatic uh, merit-based scholarships for our students. Um, we will have test optional scholarships as well, um, and we will have scholarships for our students applying with a test score, and those will be awarded automatically. Uh, so you do not have to apply separately for those, although we do have competitive scholarships that you can apply for with a December 1st deadline in addition to those automatic awards. Here at Missouri, we do have the easiest residency program in the state. So we do allow our students to establish residency uh, within the state of Missouri during their first 12 months or their freshman year here on campus. Just have to complete the five steps on the screen um, within that first 12 consecutive months. And then the rest of your time after your freshman year, you'll be paying in-state tuition. So out-of-state tuition for freshman year, in-state tuition sophomore through senior year. It is about a $17,000 difference a year. So it's a really phenomenal program uh, that we definitely encourage our out-of-state students to participate in. Uh, as I mentioned, my name is Jordan Moore. I am the regional admissions representative here. So I do live in the state of Missouri. My email is pretty simple, askjordan at missouri.edu. And I'd be happy to talk to you about Mizzou and your college search process. Go Tigers. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jordan. Uh, great to learn a little bit more about Mizzou. We'll go ahead and head on over to St. Bonaventure. Good evening. I'm Pete Lindsay, the regional admissions rep for the Virginia area. I also handle Delaware, Maryland, and DC as well. St. Bonaventure University is a private Catholic university. We are located in Western New York State, right on the Pennsylvania and New York State border, about an hour and a half south of Buffalo, New York, and also uh, we're bounded by two small college towns on either side of the university. So you're not in a large metropolitan area, but you're not in the sticks in the middle of nowhere. We back up to the Allegheny foothills and the Allegheny mountains uh, and uh, river behind us. Uh, one student who had visited campus, when asked what he thought of the campus, he says, it's like a park. That was his impression. I'd like to mention the most important piece of information I think for you to focus on, and that is that 97% of our students are either employed or in graduate school within six months. How do we do that? We are committed and focused on activities outside of class that will help you become successful, give you a competitive advantage uh, in the uh, career search and graduate school. 
90% of our students are involved in at least two of the following, internships, independent study and research, community service, capstone courses, or our um, abroad opportunities, where we have opportunities at 30 different uh, countries and 60 different colleges uh, as well. So we really focus on preparing you with activities outside of class that'll prepare you for career or graduate school. We are the first Franciscan University. Who are the Franciscans? Group of Catholic priests that are committed to teaching. And at St. Bonaventure, they set the tone for all of the faculty at the university. And that is being available to students, not only inside of uh, the class, but also outside class as well. Office hours available anytime you want to sign up to meet with a faculty member. Also, the Franciscans have a history of being committed to the environment and then also very committed to community service and giving back to others who are less fortunate. Their legacy uh, permeates the entire faculty. We've received a number of recognitions, uh, many from US News and World Report, uh, second best value in New York State, uh, 19th out of 179 best regional universities. In addition to that, Princeton Review ranks St. Bonaventure in the top 384 colleges in the country, and Kipplinger Magazine, top 100 best private university values uh, in the country. We have almost 100 different academic uh, program majors and also minors and concentrations, many combined degree programs as well that you see on the right side of your, your screen. I'd like to highlight some of the probably flagship programs that we have at the university starting in the School of Arts with our biology pre-med program. Biology is the single largest major that we offer at the university. Our pre-med program over the last 15 years, 90% of the students who've applied and have been admitted to the health professions, med school, dent school, vet school, and optometry, et cetera. We have a four plus four dual admission program with George Washington University. They set aside five seats for Bonaventure uh, students. And we also have a four plus four dual admission program with Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. They set aside 10 seats for Bonaventure students and students are exempt from the MCATs, which is a huge perk. You don't have to know exactly what major you're going to pursue at St. Bonaventure. That's what the MAP program is for, Major Adventures Program. Students take an online interest inventory called Focus 2, meet with career and professional readiness counselors, talk about career options, talk about majors, minors, double majors, because sometimes students say they're undecided about choice of major, but actually they're debating between a couple of different programs. So the Major Adventures program is a great opportunity to help our students. Also for the academic stars that do everything well and are interested in everything, we have an individualized major. Two advisors, not one. Students actually create the major, name the major, and do a brief research paper upon graduation. School of Health Professions, we have just added physician's assistant and occupational therapy and the health profession school parallels our strength in the biology and pre-med area. School of Business, we're accredited by the Association for the Advancement of Collegiate Schools of Business. There are only about 5% of the schools worldwide that have that accreditation. So it speaks to the quality of the program. Our finance program, according to College Factual, is one of the top 10% in the country value. Our accounting program, a four plus one bachelor's MBA program, according to masteroffinance.org, the ninth best accounting program among universities of 3,000 students. All of the big four accounting firms recruit on campus, and we have a Meet the Accountants Night as well. Mass Communication Journalism, one of the top 50 communications programs in the country, so says uh, College Factual. Six Pulitzer Prize winners among our ranks. School of Education, one of the 25 most innovative education programs in the country, according to the American Association of Collegiate Teachers of Education. 
we focus on creating an atmosphere to prepare you for career with the EDGE Competitive Education Certificate. You can see the various uh, modules that we offer uh, at the university with the EDGE program. Student life, very active. 80% of our students are involved in club sports, intramural sports, uh, 75 different clubs and organizations to be involved in. Always something to go uh, to be involved in. Community service is a key focus of ours. A program called Embrace It Africa, where our students go to Uganda. A program called Enactus, some 50 students go to the College of the Bahamas each year to work on economic development and assistance. 75% of our students live on campus, highly residential. Our freshmen live in a freshman residence with learning communities dedicated to special interests, high ability, high achieving, students interested in the environment, health and wellness, interested in community service, et cetera. And you're guaranteed housing on campus for four years. We are division one, even though we're about 2,500 students. So if you like the rah rah and the excitement of D1 sports, and personal attention, that would be us. Admissions, we are rolling admissions, Common App or St. Bonaventure University App. We are test optional. We began that last year. We'll continue it this year and um, have no intentions of changing that uh, in response to COVID. Quick profile of our students, 3.3, 1125 SAT, 23 ACT. 25% from outside of New York State, 24 countries. Scholarships up to 25,000 and they are merit-based. When you take out the average financial aid, cost at St. Bonaventure is close to a private or a public university, about 16,000, even though our sticker price is around 50,001. 50, Contact us. We'd love to hear from you tonight as well. Thanks so much. Make sure that whatever you choose, make sure your college education is spectacular. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thank you, St. Bonaventure. We'll head on over to Old Dominion. Hopefully everybody can see me. All right, I'm sharing my screen. And so I know you guys are there within the Q&A portion. Hey, VA representing you guys. Say hello within the Q&A so I can know you're there. I'm gonna be very fast. I have about five minutes to go over a lot of information, uh, but I'll go over the most important points. Uh, so again, I'm Jared. I am the admissions counselor. I'm an alum of ODU, full-time employee. I'm working on my master's now. Um, if you're looking on the screen, it says a top national research institution that we are. Um, but moving right along within the presentation, what you should see is ODU by the numbers here. We have approximately 25,000 students. About 19,000 of those students are undergraduate students. Uh, so students coming in pursuing bachelors, the remaining 6,000 are students pursuing their master's and their PhD. So that's important to mention because you don't have to stop at a bachelor's at ODU. So looking at the number at the bottom, that is 98. 98 represents the amount of majors and minors, a host of different concentrations that you can choose from. Uh, and out of those, about 32 plus of them are what we call accelerated programs. So you can get your master's in a shorter period of time. So think about that. I'm sure a lot of you guys are taking what, AP, uh, IB or dual enrollment courses. So just think about the overall time it's going to take for you to cut down you actually receiving your degree. But going back up, the number seven is the amount of different academic colleges that we have. So those 98 majors and minors are within those seven academic colleges. Uh, 17 to one, you guessed that is the student to faculty ratio. 33 stands for the amount of SHIV outstanding faculty awards. It's given out to the best of the best faculty within the Commonwealth of Virginia. Or do you please to say we have the second most outstanding faculty awards among any other college or university within the Commonwealth of Virginia. So that speaks volumes to who's actually in the classroom in front of our students. But some of the more popular majors, I'll go ahead and mention that. Um, you're looking at 
marine biology, you're looking at engineering, you're looking at nursing, you're looking at education. We produce most teachers at any other college or university within the Commonwealth of Virginia. Uh, STEM H overall, science, technology, engineering, math, healthcare related fields, or we produce the second most STEM H graduates, uh, communications, criminal justice, you name it. So if you're undecided and you're coming, you're not sure exactly what you want to study, check this out. We have an office dedicated just to assist you. Study show students may not know, but again, we have 98 plus different options for you to choose from. But moving along, when you think about college, deciding factors, you choosing one college over another, you think about location, you, you want to see if a school has your major, uh, you think about, of course, finances, you also think about food. Let me tell you, you want to include that food is a deciding factor. So uh, thinking about dining locations, we have everything from Chick-fil-A, Pan Express, Pizza Hut, Subway, Panera Bread, Cadoba, Steak and Shake, Starbucks, Asta, because you name it, you will not go hungry on these campus, three all you can eat buffets. Um, two of them are actually located within seven of the nine freshman residence hall options you get to choose from. So thinking about housing at ODU, number one, if I didn't already tell you, our main campus is located within Norfolk, Virginia. If you guys haven't visited, you want to come from the southeastern part of the state. Uh, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal area. Uh, it's in the heart of a metropolitan city with a coastal playground with, uh, you know, all, all this amazing water. But ultimately, talking about housing. So with housing, what you want to know, two of the three Argentine buffets are located within uh, specifically uh, two of those freshman residence halls and they all have heating and air conditioning all right and they all have shower toilet and sinks within each of the rooms all right so something to be excited about 300 plus student organizations ranging from fraternities sororities honor societies anime club ping pong club gospel choir on campus radio station newspaper any and everything you can think of but moving on moving on moving on let's talk about the application this is very important uh, so for you guys that are here watching Number one, you can access the application by going to odu.edu slash apply. And we're also on the common apps. So you can utilize either or. What is required is what you see on the screen. So you see it there. So let me tell you what is not required. So it's optional. So essay, resume, that is recommendation. They are optional. But what is required? Again, you see official high school transcripts, official SAT or ACT scores. So we do have a test optional policy. So you can apply test optional, meaning you can be considered for admission without submitting test scores. Um, it used to be a 3.3 uh, GPA threshold, but due to the pandemic, um, people having access to taking the exam, uh, there's no longer that threshold uh, specifically. But again, to be competitive, um, again, you definitely want to submit scores uh, as well. Uh, just to give you guys some averages, the middle 50%, so about 50% of students applying to ODU had a 3.3 GPA, SAT is looking at just a critical reading and mathematics section, it's between a 990 and 1190, uh, ACT between a 21 and 22 composite score. Deadline dates are very important. You see that there, December 1st, February the 1st. Early action deadlines, non-binding, simply apply early. Again, the application has been open since August 1st. Um, but again, you can apply now. You have priority scholarship consideration. Everybody is considered for scholarships when you do apply. Uh, but again, you have the priority scholarship consideration December 1st. Uh, February the 1st is the regular decision deadline. You want to apply by then. It's still rolling your mission after that point, but to put yourself in the best con uh, uh, position to be considered for a mission, you want to apply by then. Cost of attendance. OD is the most affordable public doctoral research institution within the state uh, itself. Uh, but again, you kind of see the in-state, out-of-state, on-campus, off-campus. Those numbers there show you for the entire year. So that's a rough estimate for your cost for the entire year. Uh, on campus, obviously, that's room, board, and tuition. And it's based upon you taking 15 credit hours per semester. Uh, so you're looking at 30 credit hours total for the year. Off campus is just tuition and fees itself. So to give you an idea overall. Again, that is the end of this. Of course, we have the opportunity for Q&A at the end. And of course, you guys can ask me questions. So feel free to do that. Of course, we are open. We have students back on campus. We house actually approximately about 5,000 students on the campus. So again, you can call, uh, you can email. Again, I'll make sure if you guys just want my information, you can put that within the Q&A. Say, hey, Jared, I would love to have your information. Love to follow with you. Put that within the Q&A and I'll give you guys my information. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jared. I love the Q&A reminders. This is usually where I would chime in and say, don't forget about the Q&A. Um, so I appreciate it. So don't forget about the Q&A. If you have questions, feel free to send uh, those in that, that section right now. Everyone is more than willing to answer those throughout the rest of the session. Uh, but now we'll go ahead and head on over to Meredith College. Hello, everyone. I am Jordan Richards, Associate Director of Admissions at Meredith College. We are a small private liberal arts college. We are a women's college and we are in Raleigh, North Carolina. 
We opened our doors 129 years ago to 200 students, and since then we've grown to about 2,000 students. U.S. News & World Report consistently ranks Meredith as a top 10 college in the South for both best college and best value. Recently, they moved us into the National Liberal Arts Colleges category, and we're in the top tier of that category. Um, like I stated earlier, we are a women's college at the undergraduate level, but we're also a co-ed institution at the graduate level. We have about 1,700 undergraduate students and about 300 graduate students. We have more than 80 different majors, minors, and areas of concentration per study. We are one of only two women's colleges in the world to have a business program with AACSC accreditation, which is gold standard for business programs. We also have top program accreditation in music, education, social work, and interior design. And I think this really exemplifies Meredith's um, commitment to academic excellence across curriculums. We're not just a college that's focusing in on one area. Our average class size is 16, and our student to faculty ratio is 11 to 1. So your professors are really going to get to know you, and they're going to help you to identify and achieve your goals, whether those are inside the classroom or outside of the classroom. More than 97% of Meredith students will participate in some kind of experiential learning while they're with us. So study abroad, internship, undergraduate research, service learning. We think that these hands-on experiences are really important in helping our students to develop and succeed while they're with us, but also to help them get ready for what comes next after graduation. Meredith's signature personal advising and coaching program is called Strong Points. It is totally unique to our college. It's based off of something called the Clifton Strengths Finder Assessment, which is essentially a personality test. So you answer all different kinds of questions about yourself to see where you fall between two opposites. So for example, I like to tell stories about myself or I like to listen to other people tell stories. You answer questions to see where you fall and at the end of the assessment, you'll be given your top five strengths. Throughout your time at Meredith, you'll work on developing those strengths in the areas of academics, experiential education, pre uh, career preparation, and financial literacy and decision making. And again, this is a program that's totally unique to our college and really helps prepare our students to get ready for what comes after college. Campus involvement is something that's really important at Meredith. We have a very active and involved student body. We have more than 100 different clubs and organizations on our campus, including one of the oldest, most active student government organizations in the Southeast. So that's something that we're proud of. We also have organizations related to different academic programs, different religious organizations, political organizations, volunteer groups, interests. There are a wide variety of opportunities to get involved in terms of clubs and organizations. Traditions are an important and unique part of the social experience at Meredith. This photo here is from Cornhuskin, which is kind of like our homecoming celebration that we have on campus. There are also some traditions that take place throughout the year, like stunt, um, which is kind of like a field day we have every spring. And our faculty every four years will perform um, Alice in Wonderland for the students. And that's a huge event on campus. It kind of happens once in everyone's Meredith career. So that's a huge, huge event that takes place for us. Um, the art scene at Meredith is very active. So we have a very prominent theater program, dance program, art program, music program, and a variety of opportunities for students to perform on our campus. We're also located two miles from the North Carolina Museum of Art, which is one of the largest art museums in the Southeast. Um, there's a Greenway Trail connecting our campus to that campus, so students have the opportunity to intern there and explore all of the different exhibits they have available. We are a Division III athletic school, and we have more than 10 different, or we have 10 different sports teams. So if you're interested in participating in athletics at Meredith, I recommend reaching out to me directly, and I can put you in contact with that coach. Through all of these different clubs and organizations, traditions, art opportunities, athletic opportunities, we have more than 600 different leadership positions available for students on campus. And because we are a women's college, all of those leadership positions are held by women. So it's a really exciting and empowering environment to be a part of. We offer a variety of resources for our students, including the Office of Career Planning, Academic Advising, and a Learning Center, which provides free peer tutoring on our campus. 
We are located in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is a top city in the entire country for young professionals. Um, and between the education you receive at Meredith and our location, we have a 92% rate of employment or enrollment in a top tier graduation or graduate program rather within a few short months of graduation from Meredith. And we're really proud of that. We offer academic merit scholarships to first year students. You're automatically considered for those when you apply to the college and those range between 17 and $23,000 a year, renewable for up to four years. Most every single student who applies directly from high school is considered for one of those awards. We also offer a variety of talent scholarships in art, interior design, theater, and music. We also have scholars programs, so an honors program, teaching fellows program, the Pascal Scholars, which is for STEM students, and a service scholars program. Um, to be considered for additional financial aid, you can utilize the FAFSA. If you're not eligible to complete the FAFSA, you can submit the application for institutional aid. We are test optional this year and we accept applications for early decision, early action, and regular decision. If you have questions, I encourage you to reach out to us directly. My contact information is here. I am the admissions counselor who works with students from the state of Virginia, so I encourage you to email me or call me. We're offering both virtual and on-campus visits right now, and we'd love to see you at Meredith soon. Thanks so much. Awesome, thank you so much, Jordan, really appreciate it. Now we'll head on to our final institution of the session, which is Mary Baldwin University. Okay, well, hello everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us this evening. I am Nora Maturi and an admissions counselor here at Mary Baldwin. Uh, please feel free to ask me any questions through the chat box during my presentation. Um, I've also included my contact information at the very end if you'd like to get in touch with me afterwards. Okay, so I want to start off with what's really important to us here at MBU, and that's our students. And our goal really is to help you find your fit. Um, and here's Michaela, who is a lovely student we had the pleasure of working with in the admissions office last year. Um, and just a brief quote of what she has to say about us. Um, I dealt with a lot of insecurity in middle school and high school, and I was content to hide in the background of every class. Coming to MBU where some of my classes only had about 12 people meant that I was given the chance to speak up and feel comfortable sharing my thoughts among a class filled with my peers. If you're looking for a school that will make you as an individual feel special, then MBU is the place for you. Um, and I think that's what we're trying to put forward, um, a student-centered institution where you could really thrive. So by putting our students first, Mary Baldwin wants you to take what you learn in the classroom and apply it into the real world. Uh, we have wonderful academic opportunities from the moment you set foot on campus. Uh, students are able to complete internships starting their freshman year. And by their senior year, they all complete a capstone project, uh, which is sort of a, a a cumulation of everything that you've been learning for the past four years that you're at MBU. Um, and we have many leadership opportunities as well on campus available to everyone, um, over 50 clubs and organizations, as well as Division Three athletics. So Mary Baldwin is a small university located in Staten, Virginia. We are just one block away from our downtown area, which was voted one of the top 20 best small towns in America and best main streets. Um, MBU is one of the most ethnically diverse campuses. Um, our class of 2022 is 58% students of color, um, and our campus represents st students from 39 different states and six different countries. Um, MBU offers over 50 majors and minors, as well as 11 graduate degree programs. Uh, we have roughly 1,000 undergraduate students living with us here residentially, um, an average class size of 17 with an 11 to 1 student faculty ratio. Um, so with class sizes this small, really our goal is to make sure that you're a great fit for the university, all while finding your calling. You're interacting regularly with your peers, faculty members, staff members, um, and finding your niche. 
So although we are um, a co-ed university, we're very proud to offer four very distinctive programs for women here at NBU. Um, the first one is our College for Women, uh, which is a unique program available exclusively to young women. Um, it builds on leadership skills. Um, and the second one is our Virginia Women's Institute for Leadership, and it's the nation's only female cadet corps. Um, again, building on leadership, but also preparing you for a military career upon graduation. So if you're interested um, in possibly graduating and commissioning as an officer or just taking the civilian route and, and participating in leadership opportunities, this would be a good um, option for you. We do offer all branches of the military. And the third program is our program for the exceptionally gifted, which is a unique opportunity for young girls as, as young as 13 who are looking to attend college early. Um, it is highly selective, um, but it allows these young women to earn a four year degree. And the fourth program um, is Ida B. Wells, which is a community for uh, women of African descent who want to explore culture, identity, leadership, and civic engagement. So I know I've done a lot of talking and hopefully I've gotten you interested uh, to hear about next steps. Our applications are currently open. Uh, you're able to apply directly through our website or the Common App. Um, it's free to apply to MBU and we have uh, rolling admissions currently. Um, once you re we receive your application, uh, you should expect to hear from us in about two weeks. Um, the typical MBU students has mostly A's and B's in their transcript. Um, and this year we are test optional. So lastly, I do want to talk about financial aid, which is important for us. We don't want you uh, to kill your budget attending college. Um, and although we are a private university, we are extremely affordable. Um, all students who are accepted do receive a merit scholarship um, based on you know, their transcripts. And this year, our merit scholarships range between $16,000 and $22,000. Um, and you'll receive this amount for the four years that you're here at MBU. Um, and 95% of our students do receive financial aid and scholarships um, and we typically have our financial aid packages out to students um, as early as November. Uh, so again, thank you so much for joining uh, this information session. Here's my contact information. Um, I'm the admissions counselor uh, recruiting from Virginia. Uh, please feel free to get in touch with me if you have anything in mind. Thank you so much. Wonderful and a big thank you to all of you for joining us and to our college representatives for joining us as well this evening. Um, just to kind of wrap things up a little bit, we will have a quick survey that will pop up on your screen whenever this session closes. And so if you could take just a few seconds to fill out the four question survey, it's always really helpful for us to get a little bit of feedback on sessions like these. Uh, just a reminder that there are additional sessions that you can sign up for at www.strivescan.com backslash Virginia and that a recording of this session will also be located there um, within the next week or so. Um, so we hope that you found the info helpful. A big thank you to all of our college representatives for joining. Thank you to all of you for joining us as an audience. Um, and perhaps most importantly, I hope that all of you have a great rest of your evening. Bye.